Greetings and salutations and welcome to my event video. Today is episode 5 of Christmas Cat or Cadmus as it shall now be known. And we're going to be making a festive star. Now you can adapt this to put on the top of your tree. You can adapt it to hang for it like I've got here. And there's so many different things you can do with it. This one here is just a hanger. It's a bit off ski, but you know. And it's just a simple silver star. It looks kind of hard to make, but it's ridiculously simple and no 3D sketch required. Like Here's one I just made minutes ago. And so, let's get on with it. So, we're going to go start a new 2D sketch. I'm going on to Polygon. And we're going to change it to a five-sided shape. And we're going to draw ourselves a nice big pentagon. Hey. There we go, click OK. And I was going to do a couple of constraints. Just going to square it up. So it's a bit more face onwards. And the next job is then just going to dimension it. So you just click on the side, drag it out, and we can make this, oh, I don't know, 25. This now is purple, and it's perfect. The last thing we then need to do is OK out the dimension and select it all, convert it all into a construction sketch because we're not actually using it. It's just the basis because for anyone who's seen a cheeky way to make a star, you can literally go from just basically miss a corner, miss one corner each time, rinse and repeat, you'll end up where you started with a nice star. Now the issue is if we try and loft straight out of this, we could face a whole bunch of issues. So we're going to go into find the split tool and we're going to do a little bit of splitting. So you're going to select and you're going to keep splitting. Each side needs to be split, otherwise, you're going to have issues later on and they're not going to be fun. And every time you just select, make sure everything has been split. Well, that seems perfect. Click OK. Now, what you can see is you can now just then start deleting out the inner parts. But surprise, you now have a perfect star. Click finish, and what you can now then do is now if you open your origin planes, what you'll then see is the YZ plane is the one we worked on. We're going to build a plane coming off it, and we're just going to make it oh, I don't know, four mil, four mils off. And we're then going to start another sketch on top of it. You can then just drop a point right in the center and click OK. Pretty simple. Loft. Select your closed loop. Select your point. And there you go. The star on one side is done. Click OK. Close the plane. And there you go. You've got one side of the star. Now, cheeky mirror. Select full bodies. Select your mirror plane, which is just the flat back. Click OK. And there you go. Perfectly done. Now there are plenty of other things you can do, you could just round it, so if you want to put fillets on, you can just say oh, I want to put fillets on You can do something like that if you just make the radius a tad smaller Or you're going to have like even smaller There you go and we could be lazy again and we could essentially just mirror that feature on the YZ plane so you don't do it on the back of it. Click OK. And there you go. The last thing you could really do is add a hole. Fortunately we've not got a great surface to work on so we just could create a YZ plane and we're just going to drag it back just to the centre. Click OK. Start a 2D sketch. And you can just drop a circle somewhere on there. And I'm just going to make a 2 mil hole because that's standard. Click finish, extrude as a cut through it. Click OK, close your work plane, and set the material to let's go with silver. And there you go, you've now got a lovely festive star. Hang it up, put it on the top of your tree if you adapt a spherical coat, spherical cone for your bottom of it. But overall, that is how simple it is to make a star. No 3D sketches, pretty basic, uh, intermediate, but overall, a lovely star. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.